Welcome, welcome to Testament Steve, episode 381. I am your host, The Wiz, and today we're going to play some Crazy Crazy House. Crazy House is a chess variant where when you capture a piece, you get it back in your pocket, it's called, and you can add it to the board later. Well, we're playing a variant of Crazy House. It's Crazy Crazy House called Clean House Crazy, where you can't drop that piece until you have a collection of at least two pieces to drop, and then you have to clean your entire house. So after you've dropped a piece, you must drop another and another and another until you have no more to drop. So it's a little bit of a restriction on Crazy House. This idea was suggested to me by a viewer, and because I only have some of my brain cells working, I used it. So let's see how this is going to work out. Let's go try it on the website, leeches.org. What if I press this button? Oh, then I look super short. What if I point this down? I'm super weird looking right now. I don't think this is supposed to be the way it looks. Let's move me over here at least so I'm not covering up as much of the chessboard. So let's play with a friend, and we'll play Crazy House. We'll play... Real time, we'll play one minute per side, four second increment, rated because I'm crazy, and here we go. So I'm going to put this in the chat if you're watching right now on the live stream at twitch.tv slash chesswiz. You can join this game, and I'll play with you. If you're watching on YouTube right now, you missed the window. It's no longer happening. But this is still happening right here. I'm drinking from a vase. I had someone years ago, because I've been streaming for a long time, write to me and said, dude, dude, which I, people say that to me all the time, so I ignored it. But then they said, I have those water glasses. They're from Costco, right? Totally true. So there's all these beautiful colors, which is why I have a different color every episode, basically. And they are from Costco. I never use the blue ones because then I would get them confused with someone else who lives in my house. Hello, Daryl. Ready? Let's, let's, um... Notepad. Let's use my favorite application, Notepad, here to type up the rules real quick. You may only drop a piece after you have more, more than one to drop. Let's put that in the chat there. Can you see that? I'm My controls are a little bit weird right now. I'll make a move, and then we'll continue. Hopefully he's going to play by the rules. Uh, he's playing super fast. Let's take some center here. So that's very visible. That's very good. Okay. Now let's add more rules to this because that's not all the rules. Let's trade so I have some pieces to drop. After you drop a piece, you must continue dropping until you have no more to drop. Now let's put that in the chat. Okay, I sent him a wall of text. Now, sometimes my opponents don't play by the rules, and this may be one of the times because... I haven't quite checked that he's understanding them before we started the game. And I've, ooh, see, so he's breaking the rules. So that's not, not good. Um, you're not supposed to be able to allow it to drop when you have just one piece to drop. So he's breaking the rules, but on the other hand, my face is huge. So that kind of, that kind of makes things okay. We've got to bring this down so we can see what he has to drop here. There we go. Let's pin that. Why not? So this is, this is very tempting. I'll just move this here. Finish development here. I think this position is fine for me. I'm not a great crazy house player. I'm just okay. You can see my rating, 1872. That might be kind of accurate. Our opponent, though, 1489, which means could be anything. Yeah, so I think I can handle this. Uh, let's prepare a checkmate. Let's, uh, let's, let's checkmate this guy. I'm tempted to add my pawn here, but of course then I would have to add everything because of the rules. So let's not do it yet. Let's just keep developing. Calm, steady, see what happens here. So I'm tempted to take this knight, then I've got two things. So now I'm going to play by the rules, even though this weird guy here is not playing by the rules. I'm going to play by the rules. Okay, so I'll play this trade, so now I've got two things to drop. And I think I'll, I'll fork him. But now I can't take it because I'm playing by the rules, even though my opponent isn't. But I think I'll trap his queen with this move, actually. Or maybe he'll put it over there and then I'll attack it this way. So it's going to be fun either way. It's going to be fun adding that knight to the board. Oh, he moves there. Where should I add the knight now? Oh, this is not such a great time to be adding a knight. What I'd like to do maybe is take a free knight, but I'm playing by the rules here. So I have to add this knight somewhere to the board. Hmm. There aren't any great places. In fact, there's only awful places. Let's go with right here, um, because I do have this capture. If he moves his knight out of danger, I'm going to have some pretty awesome center knight, so that'll be fun. He says sorry, so I guess he does know the rules. 
You know, there's a saying in life, it's easier to ask forgiveness than permission. <laughs> I think my opponent's applying that here. If you're like, I don't know if this is allowed, am I allowed to drive on this part of the road or whatever? Do not ask. I'll take this and attack his queen, because then I'm also forking that. That's pretty cool. Wow, there's a lot going on here. Let's turn down the sound a little bit. So many times in life, it's easier to, oh, he takes my bishop attacking my queen. Mm. I could take his queen, though. And the, by that, I mean his bishop. Is there a volume here? This is way too loud for me. Turn that down to that. See if that sounds better. So many times in life, it's easier to ask for forgiveness. Just do the thing you're wondering about and then be like, oh, that wasn't allowed? <laughs> oh, oh, sorry, I won't do it again. Okay, so maybe this check. That's too quiet now. I'm afraid to add a piece because then I have to add a lot of pieces. Is he going to try to checkmate me here? Let's see if he can do it. He's got one of everything except a queen, so it's time to go, but I do have these... The bishop here, very, very useful. Uh, so he's not attempting anything too crazy. I'll let him just add things to the board for a moment. I could actually put my knight here. Oh, I don't have one. But then I have to unload everything, so I'm very hesitant to actually do that. He has a bishop and a queen. Bishop and a rook remaining. Oh. Uh... I think I'll take that. Then he has a queen to drop. Oh! He has to unload everything! Ha <laughs> ha! Now he's playing by the rules. What a shock. My opponent started playing by the rules. I didn't know what to, what to do with that. Mm. I need to add some pieces around my king. I think with a knight. A little bit more defense around my king, I think. Now let's add something. Oh no, now I have to continue adding forever. But so does he. Oh no, now he can take my queen. Okay, this is kind of bad. I'm out of time too. So this is a huge, huge problem, actually. He can just checkmate me. But he didn't see it, so don't tell him. Let's stop the checkmate that way. He could have added his queen here. I am stuck adding things while he can just play chess around the board. So this is a big, big bad um, plan, it turns out. Let's threaten checkmate. He can just attack the queen. Oh no. What a stupid variant. I'm in check, so I'm going to play that it's all, I'm allowed to make legal moves. Hey, I'm going to say that just broke my streak because I'm making up the rules here. Oh, now I have to continue adding? I don't know how to handle this. These are already some weird edge cases in these rules. He has to keep adding his pieces now. <laughs> That's what's going on. He's unloading his, his arsenal of pieces. So let's take that. Never drop anything again, obviously. Oh, discover check. No. Um, let's put this here, I guess. Oh, now I have to keep unloading my pieces. Oh, man. This is so weird. Okay, my sequence is broken because it wasn't legal for me to not break it. But now I have to start adding again. Oh, but now I can't. Are you keeping track of this? Because I'm thoroughly confused by all this. Thoroughly confused. I don't know if I've ever seen a crazy house game this crazy. I mean, look what's going on here. Pieces added to the board, removed from the board. Like crazy. My opponent is cheating every now and then. Let's trade my rook for a pawn. And then start checkmating him. Oh no, I have to keep adding pieces. Oh man, I'm dead now. <laughs> I'm so dead. What do I even do? Is this do I have a legal move? Oh, okay, so I had to not drop a piece, so we're going to say that now my sequence is broken. So here's the clarification on the rule. If you there is no legal move to drop a piece, then you don't have to because it's not legal. And the important part, staying alive. 
staying alive. Oh, I've dropped a piece. <laughs> And you no longer have to follow that sequence. I have this check. Could be useful. I think I'll do it. Oh, no. His bishop could take it. Dr. Blind is feeling very blind right now. I don't know why I traded my knight for nothing. Not my best move. Queen, take a queen for free? Is this not the stupidest crazy-ass game you've ever seen? It's pretty crazy. Let's put the bishop right here. Oh, let's take this. Am I alive? I can't believe he, he hasn't just checkmated me by now. Look at all those things he can add now. So he adds this knight here, but I, I could take that. Okay, so I'm just at the level where I could see free things on the board that I could capture. That's my current level of skill. He has to keep adding things. He has to keep adding things. He has to add all the things. He has to keep adding things. Oh no, he can add his knight and fork me. Okay, I guess that wasn't my smartest move. So now, should I start adding things? I can save my queen. That's favorable. Because if I start adding things now, I can never stop. I'll do it. I'm going to go. <laughs> I have three rooks. I have three rooks, three bishops. I'm going for it. No, I'm not. Let's move here because then I can add something here. And it's way more decisive. <laughs> three rooks, three bishops, three pawns, a knight, and a queen. And I can add my queen right here. Checkmate. Man. Man. This is the worst chess variant we've played in a long time. And you guys know we play some horrible, horrible chess variants here on this channel. We play some seriously bad chess variants, and so I am amazed how bad this one is. That was shockingly bad. Okay, so here's the rule of clarification. If you have just one piece to drop, you can't drop it. If you have two or more, you can drop it, but then from then on, every move, you have to drop something till you're out, unless it's illegal to do so. If it's illegal to do so, obviously, you don't have to, and then you don't have to follow that chain anymore. It breaks you out of that dropping chain. You got it? Good. All right, let's play with Daryl again. If it's anything like last game, I'm going to have three queens to drop. It's going to be so, so good. Let's not play knight of six because his knight could come down ah, here to this area. And a queen wouldn't be able to capture it. See how that works? There's a very subtle inter exchange where there's a moment where the queen could capture it. But then after he moves this pawn, then the bishop can defend it. So it's like, is he defending it? Is he attacking it? And then all of a sudden, here comes the knight. And it happens after all. So he pins me. And I'll pin him. So he's going to play knight here. Okay. Attacking this pin knight twice. And then I'm going to lose my queen. This is this is standard crazy house behavior. Lose, lose all the things. And then I'll move my knight here. Okay. Now, the way this variant is going to impact this is going to be very interesting. What do I do now? I'm not that great of a crazy house player. Can you tell? Let's just do the same thing he did. I mean, it can't be stupid if he just did it, right? Of course not. Hmm. He moves his bishop to where my bishop can take it. I'll take it. You don't want to get too many things in the bank, though, because then when you drop something, you're locked in for a long, long time. He already has three things to drop. He adds his queen. So now he's going to have to add pawns. He's going to have to add pawns from now on. So this is my big chance to fork him in the face. <laughs> I don't know if I should take advantage of the rule. Maybe I should just fork him and take his queen. It seems like a reasonable alternative. Um, but another thing I could do is is um, attack his queen. I don't know, like this or something. And then he has to add a pawn for his move. So that would be pretty fun too. But I, I think I might as well fork him in the face. I want to take this pawn. That was so tempting. Now, if I add a piece, then I have to keep adding pieces, which is super dangerous. So let's take that pawn, because I'm crazy. It's actually uh, pretty serious for him to not have a lot of defense on the light squares. 
Crazy House is so crazy. I mean, the attacks come so fast, but <clears throat> there's color complexes, which basically means all the squares of one color, that are very important to defend. This is true in chess also. If you have a weakness in a specific color of square, that could be very important. Because of the way the pawns and bishops move, if he gets control of a color, then you can't get it back because the pawns and bishops all move on that same color. So bishops, as you can see, they're always on this color. They never leave the color. Should I start adding? I'll start adding right now. I'll start with a pawn. No, I'll start with a bishop. It doesn't matter. I can add the queen next. He's going to run this way. Okay. They will more add the pawn and win. Checkmate. I'll start with a pawn. It's true in chess also. Imagine uh, I push this pawn up here, and then he puts a bishop here and a queen here. You know, that's like, ouch, on the dark squares. Or he gets a pawn in here, and then he's slicing me this way. So colors matter. I have to keep adding things here. So what should I add? I'll add a knight. <laughs> it looks pretty smart, but it turns out my next move must be dropping this bishop, so I'm not as smart as I look. Because it's kind of restrictive. Like, he could just attack my queen and then take my queen. However, it's going to be a check. And I don't know what's going to happen next. It's pretty crazy. Do we have to drop down? I don't know when he was talking about. You have to drop after you drop. Does that make sense? And now I can pretty much checkmate him. Almost. Almost. I have an extra coin. <laughs> seems like I should be able to win this. So. Speaking of seems like I should. I have a computer that I stream with. Obviously, I'm streaming from a computer here, not from like a cellular telephone. And one day I plugged in my computer, he resigns. I think I've got the win here. Man, that's crazy. Crazy variant. Pretty bad one. But let's play again because I'm kind of enjoying it. And what did I say? I, I plugged in my computer and it said battery 0% not charging. I'm like, what? I plugged you in, man. So queen takes e2 checkmate was, was recommended instead of bishop takes e2. Are you sure? I mean, I can win both ways, so is that really better? I mean, checkmate now? What's the advantage of checkmate? Seriously. Okay, ne next person to click this link is going to be playing, and it is none other than Todowski, also known as the Music Dan from the chat. Love it when you join us, Dan. I assume that's your name. Love it when you join us. It's going to be a lot of fun. So let's paste the rules in the chat here. Let's get the real rules, not that link. So I unplug my computer, I plug it in again, it's a 0% not charging. Hmm, that's a problem. So I tried rebooting the computer, I tried installing all the latest Windows updates, I tried, uh, you know what I finally tried? And this is really serious. I erased everything on the computer. It's Windows 10, so there's the big button that just says, delete all things! So I click that button after some careful backing up, and that's why the show has been so discombobulated since then, because it actually turns out there's a lot you have to back up in the various softwares that make Chess with TV, and I didn't quite get everything, so that was that was tricky. So the last two two episodes or so have been slightly discombobulated, but that's beside the point. And that didn't fix it either. It still said 0% not charging. Brand new software, new Windows 10 installed, Oh, look at that. A new subscriber. Perfect. And no... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No luck. What if I move here? What if I do? I'll lose a pawn, but I'll be threatening this. But if he played here, he'd be attacking my queen and defending the pawn. Then I would move my queen here, attacking his knight. But I'm, I'm also in trouble over here. Uh, he could f he could royally fork my face, I suppose. He could add his knight right here. No, he can't because of the rules of the variant. What was I thinking? Oh, I wasn't thinking. I can't add my bishop. Let's get rid of this obnoxious knight here. You can't add anything until you have two pieces to drop. Don't forget the variant rules. So it would have been great to add that bishop, but not allowed. Okay, now we can drop things. I want to drop the beat. <laughs> Oh, it's so difficult to make that nice bass tone. Hmm, dropping that. I think I'll move my queen over here and checkmate him. Seems reasonable. I'm coming for you, music, Dan. I'm coming. 
Okay, so nothing has fixed this computer. I turn it on, fresh software install, all my updates installed. I installed the diagnostic tools from the manufacturer. And this is a Microsoft Surface. So it's like Surface Diagnostic Tools. It runs and it's like, tell me, plug it in this way, plug it in that way. It's running the diagnostic, right? And then at the end of the diagnostic, it says, your battery doesn't work. I'm like, yay, thank you, diagnostic. Now I know exactly what the problem is. Um, and that, that was that. So I thought, oh, great. So I thought, well, of course, I'll take it apart and take a look at the battery. I uh, should move my queen over here. Here. I don't know what to do. I'm kind of worried about my next moves. Because <clears throat> if I add one piece, I have to add the other. Hmm. So I decided to take apart the computer and look at the battery. One time many years ago, I had this happen with a laptop and I unscrewed the screws and I opened it up and there was actually a, a like a battery cable -y thing that had come out and it was no longer attached properly. And so because that worked then, maybe it'll work now. So I'm looking at this thing. How do you open a Surface? It's a Microsoft Surface book. You cannot. There are no screws. Let's see if he'll give me a draw. He's higher rated, so I hope he wants a draw. Mm. There are no screws. Should I fork him? I'll put this somewhere. I'll put that on the board, and then I can fork him because I'm going to have to drop something right now. What do you think of my genius? I added all the things. Oh, and I'm not dead. This is a weird, weird chess variant. Should I take with queen instead? Yeah. I don't know. Probably shouldn't have done that. Oh, that was illegal? No, it was okay. Mm. So I'd done this before, except it had screws. The Surface Book's very difficult to open. So I thought, this is hopeless. Let me see if it's under warranty. So I go on, I enter everything to Microsoft. They're the manufacturer. They're like, where do you live? What's your credit card number? What's your mother's maiden name? They want to know everything. Maybe I was on the wrong site. Finally, they say, okay, you're not under warranty. <laughs> After all of this, it'll cost you $600, $600 to, and actually they would do an exchange thing. Run out of time, Todovsky. That would be nice. He's adding things. You're a crazy man. Hmm. I'm out of time, so I play Bishop H2. Does that seem smart to you? It's not the dumbest thing I've ever done. And that's saying something. Let me just add this pawn here just for fun. No. Check. Oh, my queen is trapped anyway. Okay, so I'm a double idiot. Is this going to help? Yeah, that helped. <laughs> so the reason I checked him was because I had to add a piece at a very inopportune moment. I'll trade some more. Now he has three things. That's bad luck for him. As soon as he adds something, I can make him add more and more. Yes. He added something right now. So this is my big chance. He has to add something right now. And now I have to add something. So I'm an idiot too. But he has to add something right now. But he can do it with check. But he has to add something right now. His queen has to go on the board right now. Uh-oh. I'll take this while defending my queen. Hmm. So it turns out they will do an exchange for $600. $600. I don't know if you live in Europe and don't know how much that money that is, so let me do the conversion for you. That's 600 euro. It's a lot of money. How do I win now? I'll move my knight back again. <laughs> I'll add the bishop so that I have to add the queen next move because I love being stupid. Let's do it. Now I have to add my queen on the next move. Uh-oh. I'll put it right here. Yes, I checked him. Can I win now? Isn't this like chess where you just check them and you win? Put that right there because <laughs> I'm a crazy guy. <laughs> oh, this is going to be so good. Oh, oh, this is going to be... So I'm going to try to checkmate him like this. Oh, no, and no, I'm dead. Let's put this here. Because I have to add it because of the weird rules. So the story, is it's still happening and it's an important one. 
let's take this this way. And then let's check him with the knight, maybe? Can I get anything good from that? Let's just trap the rock. <laughs> oh, no. There's bad things over here. Oh, this is really bad. Oh, thank you so much. He had to add that, actually. It was against the rules for him not to make that awful move. So I thought maybe he would win that way, but no, he had to play the bad bad move first. Hmm. Hmm. I have four pieces. This is bad. Because when I add them, I have to add all four. Oh, this is going to be so hard. I didn't want to pay $600. I really didn't. Should I start adding them now? I'm doing it. Because <laughs> I'm crazy. <clears throat> Because I'm crazy. I'm adding all the things right now. Oh, I'm in checkmate. Oh, that was so smart of him. He adds the bishop, and he has to add the next piece, but it just so happens that it's checkmate when he does. Nice play. So I could have played my queen to d7 here, and then he would take it. Uh, that I guess that wouldn't really help. I could have moved my queen where he could take it. I didn't think of that. Hey, let's play again, Toad. That was pretty good. Pretty good match. Whew, really close game. So I didn't want to pay $600. So I'm like, how do I open this thing? There's no screws on the entire thing. So it turns out I found this, this company called iFixit, and they're online, and they have this video about how to take apart my laptop. So I watched the video, and it's like, we use the usual eye opener and our opening tools. It's just like one picture of them opening it. It's not a video. It's not a how-to. It's just like they, they're showing what's inside of it, but it's not like how to open it. And so it turns out, in order to open this thing, it's glued closed. You have to pry it open with these proprietary priors, which is totally a tool, and there's these heat things because the heat softens the glue. I'm like, well, okay, let's let's go over this. I'm an idiot. Did I did I mention that part? I'm definitely an idiot. So, mm, does the chess matter? So I made some hot things with my hot tools, and I put the hot things where the picture showed, and I worked on that thing for 15, 20 minutes, maybe 30 minutes, 20 or 30 minutes, let's say. So I better not do this. It's the same trap again. He adds his knight right here. Oh, he can't, though. Hey, I want to I wanna take back. I want to take back. Let's see if Toad will give me one. Never mind. Let's put the rules in here. Should I take that and move back? I'll move back. I did get the thing off, and it was fantastic. And inside there, inside there is this battery, and written on it says, warning, do not look at this battery. You will explode. There's so many warnings on this battery. Do not remove. Do not modify. Do not heat. Do not cool. Do not taste. You will die all over the thing. And uh, I didn't see any loose connections. So I unplugged it, and then I turned on my computer. It says, no battery detected. And I plugged it in, and I turned my computer, and it says, 0% not charging. So, oh, I can't add that. It's be cheating. It's my best best strategy in jazz is, is to cheat. When I can't do that, I'm pretty much powerless. <clears throat> so. So that's that's where I am right now. You guys want to see the evidence? So I looked around how to get a replacement battery because I think maybe the cells are bad. Let's move the bishop. Hold on. Hold on a minute. I got, I have evidence right here. Oh, I don't know if my arm is gigantic or not. I haven't looked at it recently. Hold on. I'm getting a thing. I got it. I got the thing. What's going on right now? Do I take this for free? What did he just do? Knight takes knight check. Oh, it's a trade. <laughs> There was a knight there, right? Okay, there was a knight. Okay, that's reasonable. I thought he just threw his knight there for no reason. Focusing on the chest right now. He's going to have to add another knight. So this is my chance to be crazy. Uh, but he's going to put it right here. So I guess I can't do too much. Good play for him. Oh, he's putting it there and then winning my queen. 
That's too bad. Hmm. I think he's winning. He could put his queen here next. All right, here's my plan. Lose is my plan. I think I'm going to succeed. I resign. I resign, Toad. Don't beat me like that. It's not very nice. I want to play against either you or someone else. I've narrowed it down. So I'm going to put one more link in the chat here. And you might click it. But I enjoyed that game very much. Thank you for beating me twice. So the rules of Queen House Crazy, for those of you who are just joining, is it's Crazy House, but you cannot drop a piece until you have at least two. And then you must continue dropping. Jamoin Song is now playing with us. Ya moi me it's French. It's pronounced me. And so I think I can win this game. Here, let's paste the rules in the chat form. Once you're dropping pieces, you have to drop till you're out. But if you can't legally drop one, like let's say his queen is checking your face right there and there's no way to get a, a piece in between. This is this is a graphical representation of that. See? Then what you can do is stop dropping and rolling. And you can just never continue again. So it's a nice, nice intermezzo there. It's not an intermezzo. I just used that word because it made me seem so clever, but I'm not so clever. So here's the physical evidence. This is my best skill right now is telling stories that take half an hour because I keep getting distracted by something dumb like chess. I think I can like get a great position out of this. Hmm. He adds a pawn. That's not legal. You didn't have to to drop yet. All right, I'm so good. I feel great. Here is the demonstration. This is the back. Can you see? I want to make sure you can see. This is the back. And this is the inside of my laptop. And these are the warnings. Let me show you. I don't know if this is going to autofocus, but I think it will. It's not. I turned off autofocus. Well, if you could read that, those words, they would say, warning, you will die if you read this. They're very serious. Warnings. Should I take that bishop? Probably should. Let's see what happens next. Okay. Um, should I take that bishop? Life is so complicated. Okay, I should take that one too. Hmm. D4 is definitely the only move to make right here. I have three things to drop. Should I start dropping them? I want to put a knight right here. Or here. Hmm. He has four things to drop, so he's in big trouble. Trouble. Because he, uh, once he starts, he can't stop. It's kind of like cocaine, except chess. Hmm. Hmm. So I found a battery seller. I have four things to drop also. I'm going to be an idiot and just put one on and see how bad it gets. So now I have to add my other bishop, my pawn, and my pawn. Illegal for me not to do that unless it's illegal for me to do that. You got that? So this is going to be very difficult for me to unload these things. However, he's going to have a similar problem when he plays his thing. So at least mine will get on the board. If I can get mine on the board, then I'm way ahead because I got way more on the board until... So I'm adding more things right now. So let's add the pawn. Now what he maybe doesn't know is he could just take the pawn, right? I can't capture back because I'm busy following the stupid rules. However, I can maybe add them with weird threats. I could add the bishop here with check and then the pawn here. Maybe? Unless he blocks the check that way. Kind of weird. But anyway, once I've got them all played, I can take his queen. So it would be risky. Hmm. He's going for it. So let's do the thing with the thing. Start with this check. Let's put it here. Maybe he'll take it with his queen. <laughs> I hope he does, just so I can show off this pawn move. Because if he doesn't, then I am an idiot. Oh, no, he did that. Perfect. So I can lose my last pawn and then take his queen. Whew. Close call, buddy. Very close. If he had played knight in, he wouldn't get much, though. I'd have to add my pawn somewhere, and then he'd move somewhere, but... Meanwhile, I, I'm ahead of queen now. He has six things to drop. That's very dangerful for him. Should I give him seven? I'll give him seven things to drop. <laughs> you have more to drop. You will never not drop. 
I, this is confusing. He has, he has eight things now to drop. Now that I can add up numbers, four plus two plus two, I calculate eight. That's so many. I wonder if he could just check me, me though. Just like, drop, 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 drop. Okay, he's doing it. I'm going to counter with the check. Okay. Let's give him some time. He has to drop something right now, and then I can take this. And then he has to... Oh, no, no, no. I can't do that. Because I added my queen. I added my queen. Right? Yeah, so now I have to add something. So I'll add the knight. I'll add it here, of course. <laughs> what fun! Somewhere where you can take it for free. Now, oh, his sequence is cut now. Oh, man. I'm in big trouble. <laughs> so now he doesn't have to continue dropping, and I'm losing a lot of queens. I had better play this. Actually, that's one of the worst moves on the board. Now I lose both my queens. <laughs> okay, so I didn't say that this was a great place to learn good chess moves. At least I hope I didn't say that, because it's a horrible place to learn good chess moves. Uh, you can learn legal chess moves sometimes, but not usually. So I found a seller of this battery on eBay. $65.00. They sell the battery. So I bought it yesterday, and I'm going to buy it, and I'm going to try to attach it to this board and put it all back together. I'm fixing my own laptop. Oh, no, that's illegal. Okay, so half my moves are cheating. Let's get, he's going to give me the, the take back here. I'll move here instead. He has two queens to drop. You would think he would just drop them and win. But let me let me read this warning to you. Cause I've maybe I've exaggerated it, right? Ah I have to go this way. Ah Any of these other areas, I'd be dead. Hmm. Unlike this one where I'm dead. Oh well this is actually an interesting variant if you don't if you don't play super stupidly. GG, I'll have to say. That was pretty fun. Thank you for joining me in that game. That's going to be the last game of the show, but I will read you this warning before we go. Warning! Risk of fire or burning. Do not replace, short circuit, bend, crush, puncture, or modify the battery, wiring, or connector. Do not dispose of in fire or expose to high temperature. Do not separate or remove the battery from the backplate cover. Now, I bought a battery and not a backplate cover, so I'm going to endanger my crotch, because that's where I hold this thing when I use it, by removing the battery from the backplate cover, which is exactly what it says not to do, and I'll, it'll probably explode in my face. So that, this may be the last Chess with Stevie episode, because I'm going to blow up myself with this battery. I'm going to attach the new battery, um, probably with applesauce, and then I'm going to put it all back together and fix my laptop. So other than the warning this is don't do that or you'll die, that's pretty much what I'm going to do, so wish me luck on that one. Next episode, guys, we're going to play a very, very specific atomic chess opening. There's an opening in atomic chess that I beat Stockfish level 8 with. It's specific moves is white. The pieces go here, then here, then here, then here, then here. It's, uh, let me just tell you right now, it's like knight of 3, e3, knight e4, knight b5, he blows you up, then queen h5, then queen b5, and queen b6. That's the opening from the white perspective. If you've played a lot of atomic, maybe you know what I just said. And from there, we're going to play that position over and over and over. We're going to see if white can really win every game because I beat Stockfish level 8, so that's pretty awesome. That's going to be next week, Sunday, 3 p.m. GMT. Hope you can make it. This has been Chess with Stevie. Thanks for watching.